There are places I remember all my life. Though some have changed, some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. All these places had their moments with lovers and friends. I still can recall some are dead and some are living in my life. I love them all. Hey, how you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out the incredible In My Life, of course, by the Beatles, another one of those classic Lennon and McCartney tunes. Isn't it amazing? This was like more than 30 years ago, and no one's even come close to having such an amazing body of songs as these two guys. It's a uh, legend. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to do the intro at the end, and we're going to start off with the chords and uh, go through what's going on. Actually, before we do the chords, even, I'm going to talk about the strumming. Now, the strumming's a little bit crude in this song. Maybe that's part of the beauty of it. Um, it's all down strums. kind of follows this pattern of one, two, three, and four, one, two, and, and four. That's roughly the pattern, all down strums, which is, again, quite unusual. You can hear quite clearly on the recording that it's played with the down strums, and it's kind of a bit rough and ready for such a beautiful song, but it really, I think that might be one of those special things about the actual recording of it. Um, so that pattern again, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, and four. Okay, that's the pattern. Worth practicing that a little bit. Um, part of the reason why it changes is because in every second bar, in the verses anyway, the, chord, the second chord is pushed forward a little bit. So we actually, in the second bar, we change where the two and falls. Okay, this will make a little bit more sense when I start running through the chords with you, uh, which I will do now. So the chords in the verse are going A for half a bar, E for half a bar, F sharp minor to this A7 over G. Okay, now you can play these as bar chords. You can play A up here, E, F sharp minor to this A7 over G. Actually, let me just explain this A7 over G. So just start off with a regular A chord using just your first finger, nothing on the thinner string, so uh, nothing on the thicker string either, then open second, second, second. And then you're going to reach over with your second finger and put it on the third fret of the thicker string. So you've got three, nothing. You're going to be muting the fifth string with the underneath of your second finger. You probably won't be able to help doing that. Two, 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 and muting the thinner string as well. Okay, that's an A7 over G. Okay, that's the name of that chord. So A, E, F sharp minor, A7 over G. So that pattern would be down, 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 down. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. That's how the strumming kind of works with that particular chord progression, okay? So uh, continuing on from that, it goes to D, to D minor, and back to A. Two, three. So that sequence again is going A, E, F sharp minor, A7 over G, to D, to D minor, to A. And repeat it. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone. Okay, so we can stick with that strumming pattern, or you can kind of rough and ready it a bit and just strum as you're feeling it. So long as you're staying in time, you keep your pulse. Highly recommend, of course, that you're tapping your foot. You should be trying to do that all the time when you're playing. So as long as you're tapping your foot and staying in solid time, so long as your rhythms are either on the beat or on the ends, you can kind of, you know, experiment a little bit with this one. Um, so the verse, let me just run through one more time all the way through the verse. So A, E, F sharp, 
A7 over G to D, D minor to a full bar of A, to, to A, E, F sharp minor to A7 over G to D, to D minor to A. There are A chords, E, V, F sharp minor to A7 over G, oh my D and minor, though A have changed, some for A chord, E for F sharp minor to A7 over G, to a D, to D minor, to A remain. Singing the chords for that one's actually kind of hard. Hopefully you've got the chords and the rhythm sorted out for that now. Into the bridge, which is kind of functioning as kind of a chorus, I guess. We've got F sharp minor for a whole bar, then to D chord, to G, to A. F sharp minor, to B chord, to D minor seven, to A. D minor seven, only one some of you may not be familiar with. Start with a regular D minor bar chord, the fifth fret, lift off the little finger, and you've got yourself a D minor seven. Now again, you could be playing some of these chords as open. That would be totally cool to go F sharp minor to D to G to A if you want. To me, it just doesn't quite sound as good doing that when the rest of the chords are bar chords. Of course, you can't do it with a B minor. D minor seven, there is an open chord version which you can use as well if you want and then back to the A. Might be not a bad idea to go back to that A in order to get back for the riff. Okay, so it might be easier to do that last A there, but you know, uh, I think that generally the bar chords one for this one is, is gonna be a better plan. So uh, again, the bridge, F sharp minor. If places have their D chords with G chords and friends, I A can recall some are F sharp minor and some are B chord. In D minor seven life, I ate them all. That's the bridge, and that's your part. That's the the, the tune. I'm going to show you now the intro. Um, I'll do that as a little close up. There's quite a lot of debate as to whether the bass notes are actually part of the intro as well. I think they are, uh, but you'll find lots of those kind of Beatles tab books won't have the bass notes in there as well. But uh, you know, you can. It's quite easy to just leave out the bass notes if you think that it's the bass or the rhythm guitar. It's up to you. Let's go to a close up and check out how to play that little intro, which is also used for the outro actually as well. Okay, so that's the little intro riff. Now, of course, you can just play the melody on a tone, which is very simple. Would be okay. Second fret, the second string. 5th fret of the thinner string, then back to the 2nd fret of the 2nd string, 3rd fret of the 2nd string, open E string, that's the thinner string, and then the 4th fret of the thinner string. Okay. Now, if you want to add the bass note in, you're going to add an A bass note. And this is going to require using pick and finger. So you're going to use your pick on the bass note with a little bit of palm mute and use your second finger to play the melody notes. Then. So you play it once here with this note. Play the melody note again. Then again with that first fingered note. You play the uh, third fret. Then the open. And then when you go to this note, you play the thicker string. Okay, at the same time, so it's going to go, and then two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, again, one, two, three, and four. Now one thing that I am aware of is 
when I hit go move from the A to the E, I want to get, bring one of my fingers over to mute the A so it doesn't just ring out because it makes it sound muddy. So from here, when I'm going for this note, my second finger is coming over here to mute the A string at that point. That time I accidentally hit the B string, but it didn't sound bad at all, actually. It actually sounds really nice to add that B string in there, so there you go. You might want to do that if you uh, fancy it. But... That's the little intro riff. I'm sure you're going to enjoy playing and singing this tune. It's a real beautiful one. Um, I, I must say, I've, I've got a weird thing with this tune that maybe you'll have it as well, that even if I don't feel like I'm singing it really well, there's something about playing and singing this tune that, that really makes me feel good. It's like the, the message of the song is really beautiful and it makes me think of all of the happy memories with different friends over the years and, and, and you know, it brings back a lot of fond memories. So I hope that you have a similar experience with this tune because that's one of those beautiful things about music. And... Uh, yeah, enjoy it. I'll see you from plenty more lessons and songs very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.